What's up everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I actually want to make a short tutorial, an easy one but a very um, necessary one and it will enable you to change your scenes. So you can make several levels and once the character hits a certain area the level will change. So I set up this little scene um, which I actually made in one of my other tutorials and the idea is to put uh, an area here, once the player hits this area, um, then he will change level. And we're of course going to use Playmaker. So let's get right into it. So we have here a scene set up. Let's go to the scene and I'm just gonna add here a empty object and let's call this the scene change, change, thank you very much. And we're going to add a box collider, which is a trigger. And let's put it like where we actually want to change the scene. Of course, you could also make a portal here or a door, depending on your setup of your level. Let's make it big enough, not that the character jumps over it and falls down. And it is a trigger. And then we're going to add a FSM right away, which is going to be quite easy. We're just going to use our usual trigger to the event. So once the character or the player enters this area, we want the event to happen. The collider tag should be player or anything um, you tagged your player character with. It could be anything. Um, and we're going to add a transition. It's finished. And once the player enters, we will finish. We're going to add one state here. Connect them. And in this state, we're going to use the scene. There are several um, scene options, but for this one, we're going to lo use load scene. And let's scroll up a little bit. Maybe let's just make it a little bit bigger. And there's two ways to go about this uh, to manage your scenes. One is with an index and the other one is by name. And what does index actually mean? Let me shortly show you. If you go to file and you go to your build settings, you can actually see all the scenes uh, which you have made and put here. So every time you make a scene, you actually have to put it in the build settings. And then in any order you put it, there's an index given to it by default. And when I use here the scene at index, I have to put the right index value. But an easier way would of course be just use by name. And that way I can just write any name, um, for example, let's go to build settings, I would like to go to level 6, of course usually you go to level 2, um, but let's just pick something random. So I just write here now level 6, and actually that's, that's then already it, now if I do now finished. Um, I don't even need to do finished. I can just leave it like this. And if we're going to try it, let's see if this works. So the scene is set up. First, I have to do some difficult platforming. Very good. Now there's the platform. And let's jump here. Let's just press here on the scene change, the object which I made earlier, so we can see what is the what is Playmaker doing? Currently, he's just waiting for the character to enter. And of course, you can also add a weight. Again, once the character enters a weight, you add an effect, um, some particles, whatnot. And let's see. So here the area should be. Of course, I didn't put any door or portal there, but you can put whatever you like. And once you hit it, you see my computer loads, and I'm in the next scene. Well, and actually, it's as easy as that. You can of course also use this within a menu, with menu buttons, but I'll make a separate uh, video for that. Uh, because with the scene management you could easily navigate between levels. Um, and it's of course very helpful for any kind of game. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers!